Alexa, play relaxing 70s music. Relaxing 70s music. Let's go. Play now on Amazon Music. All right, so I'm going to take you with me today to a store called Five Below. And I thought that'd be kind of appropriate today <laughs> since I think our temperature has actually gone up above five degrees. So, uh, this, uh, this store is always fun. I don't know if you have one in your area or not. I don't know if they're nationwide. I don't, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so let's go. Let's go see what kind of cool stuff we can find at five below. Also got to go to Walmart, Ugh, Walmart, Ugh. <sighs> but I live in a food desert, so. Uh, I got to pick up a few things and I want to look for some candles that only Walmart sells. And I got lucky enough to find some on the shelf when they were actually supposed to be online only. Wow, we'll see. Oh, my dog's barking. So as you can tell, my videos are never scripted, so I never really know what I'm going to say. Um, but the reason why I like this store, Five Below, is because I like to collect kind of cool, um, uh different kinds of things and uh, candles and incense and crystals and colorful rugs and I don't know, just things. And um, Palo Santo wood for burning. And this store always has that kind of stuff. So, and you never really know what you're gonna find when you go in here, it changes from time to time. I've gotten some really good rugs for five bucks. I mean, I don't even know how you can get that material together and get someone to do that and the crafting and the running or machinery or whatever and ship it all the way over here and then all the people that are involved in getting a rug from another country to this country and sell it at retail for five bucks and it's really thick and colorful and kind of decent quality and I can throw them down for the grandkids and it doesn't matter if they get paint on them and so you never know what you're going to find in this store so let's go in there and see what they got today. All right, so they got a new guy working in there as manager, and he sounded like he was from either Chicago or St. Louis. When I did my survey question, when I asked him how his day was going, he forgot to ask me how my day was going, so he only got a six. So, okay, he'll learn pretty quick around here that people are a little more personal, I guess, here. Oh, so the kids, the grandkids at my house get... um their own box of goodies, just an old cardboard box that goes under the bed. And uh, that's their toy box. And after they're done playing all day with the family, they come in and get ready for the baths. And afterwards they know they can pull that box out and they never know what's gonna be in that box. At grandma's house, it's always like a little, I don't know, an extra treasure. I've been seeing a lot of mandala lately. So uh, this jumped out at me. So I thought I'd take it all out of the box and throw it in the toy box and the kids could have that to play with. And I love when they make me art. So I bought them their own sketch pad this time for grandma's house. Five bucks, five bucks. I bought more lights. The lights from Five Below never work very long, but I've been wanting some more twinkle. Well, these don't twinkle. They're just LED curtain lights. But I've been wanting some more lights, so I got that. Oh, and then the kids got sticky paws, sticky paws. Yeah, like I said, you never know what's going to be in grandma's, uh, in the toy box under the bed at grandma's house. And then, last but not least, I don't normally buy t-shirts, but this is so me with the skulls and the roses. And I got an extra large because it's going to shrink up and I like room to move around. Isn't that cute? So, and then I got two, count them, two of those rugs I was telling you about for $10. So all of this for under $40. Um, it's just, like I said, it's stuff to go. That's for me. That's for me. The rugs are for the grandkids. All that's for the grandkids. So, uh, yeah, and when I say the rugs are for the grandkids, it's like I was saying, you could just throw them on the floor and it doesn't matter. They're so big and they're so thick and they're so comfy and they're colorful and it just sparks their imagination and that's like their play world uh, when I roll out those rugs at grandma's house. Okay, on to Walmart. Ugh. Thanks for coming with me though to Five Below. Oh, as far as the sage and the, and the uh, uh, Palo Santo, they didn't have any Palo Santos. They had a packet of sage, a sage wand with sweet grass, but the sweet grass didn't look very fresh. That could have been a weed grass for all I know. 
<laughs> ditch weed <laughs> grass braided. So I kind of, I passed on that. Or you could have got two uh, sage wands. No crystals this time. Uh, but like I said, they always have new stuff coming in. So yeah, five below. It's kind of a fun little store. All right, before I go in the house with all this, I just want to show I stopped at Goodwill and I found some baskets. I've been collecting baskets lately since I'll be living this bohemian lifestyle, um, vagabond lifestyle. I have to have baskets. So they're easy to move stuff around. So this one's a cool, like a knitting basket where your yarn comes out there. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I bought a bunch of bottles too, uh, to give to my husband and some, uh, I do fun coffee cups. When company comes over, they never know what kind of cup I'm going to put in their hand. So I got another one of these great baskets for helping me in the garden. Oh, I can just lay all my flowers and herbs across there. It's going to be so nice. And I call these cat baskets, laundry baskets. My cats love to sleep in these. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I get essence of kitty on everything. And then, look at this amazing thing. Isn't that so bohemian? Don't you love the shape of that? And yeah, I just bought some cobalt bottles, um, a, a vintage green bottle, um, three vintage cobalt bottles, and uh, some fun cups. Oh, and two zebra cups for my daughter's birthday coming up because she wants zebras. Okay, that's it. Oh, now I have to go to Walmart. Ugh. Okay, last thing, um, and I'm gonna apologize ahead of time if Bo starts whining, he wants out of his kennel. So, okay, so these are the rugs that you get for five bucks at Five Below. And they're, ooh, they're heavy, they're huge. And you can see how cool it is to just spread these out and let the grandkids play on these. So I got two more of those. And then my baskets, of course. And then um, uh, just quickly go through what I got. Uh, I got three more cups to add to my, um, collection for the farm. So me and the kids drink uh, hot cocoa down at the fire pit. So that's great. This is out of Wheatland, New Jersey, and it's vintage. It had a stopper in it at one time. So, and it was only 69 cents. And I like these for um, tinctures. I make tinctures, make my own tinctures. And these, I'm pretty sure, oh, they're just beer bottles. Uh, I know that they're beer bottles, but I don't drink alcohol, so I don't get a chance to get these cool bottles. And it's just simple screw-on lids. And like I said, I I drink tinct or I make tinctures, and it's nice to have the cobalt blue bottles. And they were only sixty nine cents each, so I couldn't even buy like a six pack. I don't even know if they sell those in a six pack. I think they're only twelve packs. I don't know. I don't have no clue. But I wanted the cobalt blue bottles, so that was a bonus. This was cool. This is out of um, Doc's Indian Tonics and Elixirs. It's a flavored drink, and it's from a brewing company out of Independence, Missouri. Awesome bottle. Their bottles were all on sale for nine, uh, 69 cents. So, And I'm actually going to leave that label on there. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put in here. Hmm, moon water, melted snow, I don't know, something kind of witchy and fun. Okay, this was strange. It says federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle, four fifths court. Isn't that weird? And then it's the hmm, Wing Li Wat China, and whatever that says. I don't know. And it's got some defects, it's got some flea bites, but that's going to be a great. Um, flower vase on my on my farm table. Isn't that going to be great? It's so bohemian. I just love it. Okay, uh, this little thing I thought was cute. It's kind of got that um, world traveler bohemian sort of look to it. Um, it's got some maker's mark on the bottom, but I can't make it out. I don't know. I don't care. I love the colors. It's an Easter pastelish looking colors. I thought this would be cute to hide little knickknacks in. Um, and then the, uh, oh, these zebra cups. My daughter's birthday, her 40th birthday is coming up. I'll make another video on that because she's getting a themed party. No, it's not zebra. And no, it's not over the hill. It's something she totally loves and she isn't expecting it. But her favorite animal is a zebra. I think I mentioned the other day I'm making her a zebra hat. Um, look how cute. And she loves coffee. She's just a huge coffee. Look how big that is. That handle is huge with a little zebra down. Isn't that cute? Like, I'm sure she won't drink out of it, 
like because you know that'd be hard to wash and whatever but it's just cute to add to her zebra collection she's got the cutest zebra collection this one she can actually drink out of super cute i bet you she takes this one with her to work i bet you anything she's gonna love it it's a um, zebra collection earthenware dishwasher microwave safe made in china roche rocher rocher i'm not sure and then when you come spend the night at my house and we have coffee the next morning you don't get you don't get a regular coffee cup you get you get served your coffee in something fun um you should see my daughter's boyfriend he walked around here one day the burly guy and he had a an elf cup or something it said i've been naughty and it was worth it or something i don't know it just looks so silly um and he like never he never says anything he just drinks out of a, it's kind of like a joke in our house so now he gets a drink out of um some dude's kilt <laughs> oh yeah fun times okay thanks so much for coming with me and this was really a lot of fun to put together <laughs> Uh, love and light, everybody. Ta-ta.